Hello, and welcome to Catholicity with Mr. Norino for Wednesday, January 27th, 2021. Our Thursday and our Friday get shuffled back a day because this Friday is a PD day. So we don't come to school this Friday. So tomorrow's day we're doing today, and Friday's day we'll do on Thursday. So why? Well, because those are the two important ones that we're really trying to make stick. The Mondays and the Tuesdays and the Wednesdays when everybody would be off where we're, you know, reading our scripture and doing a reflection and asking questions. We're back in class and getting back into a routine, but the interactive nature of our Jamboard and our follow-up check-in day is something that we want to be able to continue. So today we'll be talking a little bit about some parables from the Holy Gospel of Mark and a big umbrella topic that you might have quite a few questions about. So we'll begin today in the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good and gracious God, thank you for allowing us all to be together in this format today. Thank you for allowing all of our students to be back in the classroom for the first week since before Christmas vacation. We thank you for the gifts that you bestow upon us so that we can continue in our journey of faith. We thank you for the sacraments. We thank you for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We thank you always through Christ. We make this prayer. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, we'll begin today with a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus began to teach by the sea. Such a very large crowd gathered around him that he got into a boat on the water and sat there, while the whole crowd was sitting beside the sea on the land. He began to teach them many things in parables. And in this teaching, he said to them, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where it did not have much soil, and sprang up quickly, since it had no depth of soil, and when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no root, it withered away. Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain. Other seed fell into the good soil and brought forth grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. And he said, Let anyone with ears to hear listen. When Jesus was alone, those who were around him, along with the twelve, asked him about the parables. And he said to them, To you has been given the secret of the kingdom of God. But for those outside, everything comes in parables, in order that they may indeed look, but not perceive, and may indeed listen, but not understand, so that they may not turn again and be forgiven. And Jesus said to them, Do you not understand this parable? Then... How will you understand all the parables? The sower sows the word. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. And when they hear, Satan immediately comes and takes away the word that is sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground. When they hear the word, they immediately receive it with joy, but they have no root and endure only for a while. Then... When trouble or persecution arises on the account of the word, immediately they fall away. And others are those sown among the thorns. These are the ones who hear the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of wealth and the desire for other things come in and choke the word, and it yields nothing. And these are the ones sown on the good soil. They will hear the word and accept it and bear fruit thirty and sixty, and a hundredfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So questions about that parable, about all parables, and an umbrella topic for today. Let's go to the Jamboard. So welcome to today's Jamboard. We've got one of the few examples where Jesus actually speaks a parable and then explains what all of the parts of the parable are to the people who came up to him after. So what are we trying to answer today? Getting your opinion on why you think Jesus 
spoke in parables. He did that very frequently. We've already talked about one or two before. Why do you think he chose to speak in that type of storied language? And for today, our big idea is faith. Faith isn't something we have. Faith is something we are in. We are called to be true, loyal, and constant. Practicing faith is like developing any relationship. You have to give it time and attention. Faithfulness involves an awareness of God's presence in our everyday experiences. I understand that my purpose or call in life comes from God. I integrate my faith with my life. I respect faith traditions, world religions, and the life journeys of all people of goodwill. I reflect on God's word in the Hebrew and Christian scriptures. I understand the saving story of our Christian faith. We have faith in God. We have faith in Christ. We have faith in the Holy Spirit. What questions do you have about your faith? Your ability to believe, to be strong in your belief. What questions do you have about your faith? I'll do my best to answer those tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing what you come up with, and we'll review it tomorrow, Thursday. And then Friday, you got the day off, so enjoy your long weekend, where on Friday your teachers and your ECEs, your EAs, your principals and vice principals will be working together to learn, to prepare, to assess, to do things, to better your education, so that when you come back on Monday, the journey continues. <laughs>